This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon. But they they gave him a lifestyle to live now. They gave him a name, made him a household name, although he was an informant. That's a, but he's political, religious, political, whatever you want to call it. But he was an informant. Welcome back to the All Gail King Pins channel where we talk about confidential informants. Like the channel, share the video, subscribe to the channel as well. And we're back in the snitching book and snitching criminal informants and erosion of American justice by Alexandra Nadepoff. And we're still talking about confidential informants in a corporate world. And back to chapter seven, which is how the other half lives white collar and other kinds of cooperation now listen to this infiltrating informants may get away with wrongdoing in exchange for their usefulness they may finger the innocent or entrap others into behaving in ways that they otherwise would not when they are exposed they may undermine public perceptions of law enforcement legitimacy in other words, even in this unique arena, political informants carry many of the same challenges and risks as their more conventional criminal counterparts. That's page 149. Like I said, informants are not just black guys, black girls in the hood. They have political informants, which means you're running for office and in your your, your, your crew, your, your, your people, whoever's helping you, your, your organizers, somebody in there or multiple people in there could potentially be an informant trying to see what it is that you're doing. And they have the same risks as the drug dealing informants. So it's, it's literally the same thing, except this is how the other informants live. They live in suits, but they're still informants. So now I want to point out one thing that was said. They may undermine public perceptions of law enforcement legitimacy. Break that down. When the public starts to learn about this information, like, wait, hold on, like, the police is really using people to set people up and send people to jail? And they really paying people to do this? And then the people, they catch people doing crimes and then they not sending them to jail because they telling on somebody else? And Wait, hold on. Why, why, why is they doing all this? That makes the public start to look at the police like, is they literally legitimate? Like, is that a legitimate organization? Like, that that doesn't seem right, all the stuff that they're doing. So, the public starts to look at the police as if, like, no, nah, we don't need them no more and all this and all that. But see, this is what a, this is the catch. When the, when the public starts to distrust the police, that's when this happens. A big bus happens or a child gets murdered, or somebody get murdered, and they solve it to show the public, you guys need us. You see how we solved this? We solved it. But if they're causing the problems, but solving the problems, is that still legitimate? Think about that. They're sending these people out to commit these crimes so they know who committed the crime, and then they bust them for committing the crime and show you guys, the public, hey, look, we solved the problem. They bring the drugs over here or get the drugs out of evidence and then they tell this person to go sell it to these people or this person and then they bust those people and then they take a picture in front of all the drugs and say, hey, look what we did. We're taking this off the streets and then put it right back on the street tomorrow. So you got to understand that these informers are not literally just drug dealing informers. These are political informants. These are corporate informants. These are attorney informants. These are accounting informants. Like this stuff is so deep that people wouldn't understand that it's it's ingrained in society. Like this, it's a part of society. Some of these business owners that you look up to are informants and you don't know it let me let me let me tell you a political informant right now al sharpton if you google al sharpton fbi informant it'll show you 
In the 80s, Al Sharpton was an informant for the FBI. He wore a wire. But nobody really knew about him. And then after he wore the wire, all of a sudden he was everywhere. For every time something happened to somebody black, he was there. He was always around. And everybody started calling him, hey, we need your help over here to bring light to this problem and all this and all that. And the whole time this man was an informant. But they, they gave him a lifestyle to live now. They gave him a name, made him a household name, although he was an informant. That's a, but he's political, religious, political, whatever you want to call it. But he was an informant. Do you think he was telling people like, hey, you guys, I want to come and help you. I was an informant and I, I did get wired or I may still be wired and I may still be informant, but I'm still here to help you. Or was he there to gather information? See, that just make you think. So let's 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 keep it on this political informant for maybe another episode or two. And I want you guys to really get into this because I don't want you to think that informants just look like me. This channel is to show you guys that informants don't just look like me. They're not just my color. They're not just low income. You can be watching this and you can be a Caucasian male or a Caucasian female or Asian male or Asian female and your parents or your grandparents or uncle or aunt may have potentially been an informant and that thriving business that they have and that they're providing for the family through, they only got it because they set people up. It's hard to really wrap your brain around this information, but it's serious. So that's all I got to say for this video. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below, donate to the channel, cops on the merch, send me an email. Let's talk. We still going to be on this. See you guys on the next episode. This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon.